Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the color of an eye in a photo. Um, here you see that this woman has two green eyes. When I turn on the effect that I've created, the left eye will turn blue. Um, I only did it on one eye just to show you the comparison between the two. Um, however, using the same procedure, um, same method, you'll be able to do that to both eyes. So I'm just going to delete the effect that I have and go back to the original photo. Now the first thing we need to do is we actually just want to duplicate the layer. It doesn't matter what it's called, it can just be called background copy. And then clicking on background copy, the new layer, we want to come over to create a ellipse or a circle um, and we're going to be using vector masks. If you're unfamiliar with vector masks and you just want a quick little tutorial on that, I have another video. You can just click right here. So now for this, we want to zoom in to where the eye that we want to change is. So in clicking on the ellipse tool, we want to make sure that you're on path, not shape. Shape will give you uh, a circular shape uh, as well as probably a fill or a stroke if you have that set. We actually just want a path. So holding down shift because most eyes are fairly symmetrical or the iris um, are fairly symmetrical. We just want to create that circular path and we can move it just a little bit. We're going to be doing the final adjustments in a bit but we just want to get that circle path covering the eye. And then selecting the circle path, we go back to the ellipse tool, ensure that we have background copy selected, and then we just simply hit mask. And it doesn't look like we did too much, but if we hide the original background, we see that we actually vector masked out everything except for the colored part of the eye. Now what we can do is selecting the vector mask, go up to image, adjustments, go to hue and saturation. And here this is where we can start changing the color. Now depending on what you're trying to do, you might adjust the hue, the saturation, or the lightness. Uh, if you are just going for a blue eye, there is a really good default setting or preset setting uh, that I really like to use. There we go. Click OK. Zoom out a bit to see the difference. And we can see that we got a blue eye over here and a green eye over here. Now let's get back to fixing that vector mask. So we go by selecting background copy, go back to the direct path. So we have path selection tool and then direct selection. Go and double click to get the anchors to appear. And now we can shift this down and you may get a warning saying this operation will turn the live shape into a regular path. You wanna say yes and adjust it a little bit over here. You can kind of see we got a little bit of green still down here. And there we go. So zoom back out. Nice blue eye over here and a green eye over here. Now we can go back up if we want and adjust the hues. We already have it as the default, but maybe we want more of a purple eye. Easy peasy. There we go. So you can use that same method to change the color of the green eye over here into the purple, pink, blue, whatever eye color you'd like. If you like this video and you want to see how we can use a similar method to change the color of a t-shirt that someone is wearing, then you can click right here for the video that I have on that. If you'd like a video on vector masks, you can click right here to get a link to that video. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to subscribe, feel free to like, comment, whatever you want. Um, and stay tuned because I plan on uploading a few more videos.